Woo! Hi, I'm Jazz on Coffee. What's going on, guys? Do you like coffee? I love coffee, and I love a good mug. Check this one out. This is like a local brewery near me. Um, but this coffee mug is just freaking awesome, and I drank too much coffee this morning because of it. If you like coffee, uh, subscribe. You know? Duh. <laughs> okay. So the point of the video is not to subscribe because you like coffee, and if you don't like coffee, don't unsubscribe. I don't know. Only subscribe. Don't unsubscribe. Subscribe if you like coffee, but this is a beard channel. I don't know. All right, so I'm really excited to talk to you guys about this today. To me, there are a ton of beard tools, beard care tools that will help you, um, especially if you're a new beardsman, you're just getting into beard products, you're looking into taking care of your beard, you have no clue what to buy because everything on Amazon is like $20 and super cheap and you're like, is that worth it? I don't know. So let me tell you, I've purchased it all. I've received gifts from people uh, at Christmas, you know, beard care tools and kits um, from Amazon. Um, and and you know, some things are good, some things are bad. So the whole point of the video is to tell you guys what I think is the absolute best. Um, I've tried a ton, a ton, a ton of different things. And so I wanted to make kind of a comprehensive list in this one video for new beardsmen and experienced beardsmen on tools that they can use to take care of their beards. To me, every one of these tools is a complete game changer. It helped me take care of my beard. Um, I use them, almost all of them daily. So um, I'm real serious about this and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And if you find this video helpful, make sure and share it with other beardsmen or someone else uh, who's starting to grow a beard because that's important. I don't want people buying stuff that they don't need or they buy something and they're like, oh man, beard care just isn't for me because you know I have this crappy tool and it snags my beard or something. I don't know. Let's get started. Okay, so the first tool I'm gonna mention um, is actually the Norelco One Blade. Now, you would say, Josh, this is for shaving. No, 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 it is for shaving. Don't shave though if you're growing a beard. The purpose of this tool, let's see if I can turn up the brightness here, hang on. Is to take care of these hairs right here. If you guys see those, it's called my cheek lines here. You see all this hair right here? This thing completely changes how you trim your cheek lines. It's honestly the best tool uh, in my arsenal for like trimming stuff re related stuff. I mean, w I have other tools for trimming like, you know, like a hedge of like your beard, like trimming your actual beard. But as far as trimming these edge lines, to me, there is no better tool than this, okay? This isn't gonna help you get the perfect line if you're struggling with like, you know, which line you want, but it's going to help you once you've identified that line. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys here. I've been growing this out just so I could show you guys how this is used and hopefully I don't screw this up because I'm using the camera here to, uh, to get this angle. But basically, I haven't charged this in like a year and a half. I got it like two years ago for Christmas. I'll link one of these down below. But basically, it's got a rotating blade in here. So you can turn this on and touch it and it kind of just does like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do this and dr completely dry, just trim this edge line. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same side over here. And sorry if I'm not getting everything, it's kind of hard for me to see on this camera. You can do this dry. You don't have to have any water or oil or anything. And you're able to just do that. I mean, that looks a little bit better, but you get the point, right? This thing just turns on, cranks through, and shaves it down to nothing so you have nice, perfect cheek lines. This is easily one of my favorite tools. That's why I wanted to share it first with you. Now let's turn down this brightness because I can't see anything. Ah, that's better. <laughs> I also get these nose hairs, and I like to just kind of run this along there too. Uh, and I also get like this unibrow thing that I like to take care of. You know, I don't know. Anyways, this thing is awesome, guys. You can use it in the shower, it's waterproof. Um, I, you know, sometimes trim my whole chest with it. Um, I get my neck hairs like right here with it. I'll just kind of crank through all this stuff. Um, just, it's just an awesome, awesome tool. Definitely something that I think every beardsman should have. So go ahead and check the, down in the link for uh, one of these. You can buy them on Amazon. Uh, I think they're, 20 30 dollars but they come with a bunch of different attachments like for trimming shorter beards and stuff like that so but i only just use this i just use the baseline here and then i also just as a quick note i have not replaced this blade ever it's been the same one since i got it um you know i'm not trimming a ton of stuff i mean i have done my chest my whole chest a couple times but uh, mostly i'm just doing my cheek lines so um hopefully you guys think that's really cool because i think it's a complete game changer right you don't have to buy razors you don't have to take care of razors you just have this thing and it's awesome all right, let's go grab another tool. All right, so something um, that I really want to point out is boar's hair bristle brushes. You've seen them. Most beardsmen have. If you're looking up stuff to take care of your beard, they look like this. 
This is the Beard Struggle one. I just, just honestly, I don't use it. It's just trash. Um, <laughs> this is one I got in a kit from Amazon, Macho, from my grandfather. This one is also trash. I just don't like it. Um, this doesn't work for me. This one is one you can buy at Walmart. This is Cremo. Um, they sell a bunch of other stuff, but honestly, the brush, just not for me. Uh, you see how close together this is and like dense and not thick? I don't know. This just crap. The best one by far for me is Detroit Grooming's Beard Brush. Um, boar hair bristle brush. I've, I've showcased this in a couple videos, um, but you can see it's got a little bit of a curve to it and it's also, look how spread apart these bristles are, okay? When I brush my beard with this, I can feel the bristles getting down to my skin. With the other ones, I just can't feel that. These bristles are longer and this to me demands that my hairs lay down. Like it just works really, really well, okay? So if you want to pick up one of these, I'll have the link in the description. Um, to me, there's just no better boar's hair bristle brush. If there's one that you guys think is better, I don't know, comment down below. I just showed you a couple crap ones that I just I just don't use them. They sit around so I can make videos or something, but I just I literally just don't use them because they just don't work for me. All right, so I know I mentioned a minute ago the uh, kit from Amazon. So I got this from my grandfather on Amazon. I used it like early on when I had a shorter beard and didn't know what I was doing, but this is just all crap. But there was one thing that came in the kit that I will say I actually do enjoy, and that's this comb here. So this comb, the reason why I like this comb is because I'm not worried about it. It's a cheap comb, right? It's gonna break at some point, no big deal, but I leave this in the shower. It's a crap comb. Honestly, you can buy them for like a couple dollars. I'll try and find one on Amazon and link it below. But for me, this sits in the shower when I'm washing and conditioning my beard. I like to scrape through and pull and scrape my skin to get it all clean and, and bring that blood to the surface of my skin to help beard growth and all that kind of stuff. So I always recommend just having like a cheap little comb in there. Obviously, you don't have to use this style of comb, but I really just have enjoyed using this one. Let me tell you guys now uh, the comb I use during the day. Okay, so this one is called a Kent comb. If you haven't heard of them, um, you're living under a rock. These things are pretty phenomenal, amazing. They're like $10. You can get pretty cheap ones. This is a pretty small one, but I still use it. Um, I just love it. It works really well. And the reason why I like it is because you see how sturdy this thing is? I'm really kind of pushing on this to get it to bend, right? This is super stiff. There's no ridges inside these that are going to snag on my beard hairs. So it combs through perfectly. Here's a trash one. Look at this. You can nearly bend it in half. And let's see if I can get this on camera. There's actually, these are these are pressed in a factory. And there'll actually be little tiny pieces of plastic on the edge of each one of these little things. And they might work for a day or two, which is fine. But the problem is when you use these continuously, it starts to just shred and cut into your beard hairs because they're not perfectly smooth. These are perfectly smooth. In fact, these are almost rounded. The, the blades on this are almost, or the, the little whatever they're called, are almost rounded. And that's why this is so much better. It glides through, it works really well, and they're like fairly cheap. I think they're like $10 or something, or I don't know. There's a, there's, they got a bunch of different ones where they have like, you know, they're longer or um, whatever. This is like the pocket size. I think it was like $10, and that's the one I went with because I'm cheap. Um, but it really, it works for me. I don't need anything bigger than this. This is like the comb that I use like after I put in some beard oil or whatever, and I'm trying to get my beard right. Or after I apply heat, you know, I kind of run this through kind of like that and just kind of, get out any snags or whatever and keep it nice and nice and straight. That's most of the stuff I used daily. Um, something I don't use daily is a heated beard brush, which is something that I've really enjoyed. I used to use a blow dryer to kind of give my beard some shape, but that just takes too long for me. So, you know, I've got all these different um, heated beard brushes, but recently, I have been using this. This is the Aberlite Pro. Um, this is, I believe, I don't know if it's available for purchase yet or not. I'll tell you guys in the description below. If not, if it's not available for purchase yet, um, this is definitely the best one I've used. This is the Aberlite Pro, like I just said. Um, that's what I use today. So I, I put it on like 360 and kind of went through my beard and, and, and pretty quickly. I didn't leave it on there for a long time. I didn't want like a pin straight beard, but I wanted something that kind of had some shape to it and looked nice. I'll link this one in the description below too. This one's pretty nice. This one was a lot cheaper and it pretty much does the same thing. Um, but you know, I go back and forth with these. Um, this one does feel really good. It's just a bit big for me. It's, the size of this thing is just huge. But anyways, if you're interested in a review of either of those brushes, um, I'll also link them below. Okay, another one, because um, I almost forgot, is um, a good beard trimmer. Now, obviously, uh, if you haven't seen my video on the Brio Beardscape, you can check it out. I'll maybe put it up here or something for you to go check it out. But the Brio Beardscape is an awesome tool. It's a bit on the expensive side, and there are other options. So if that's a little too expensive for you and it's not your taste, they do make other trimmers. This one, I believe, is from Amazon. Um, I've had this for a couple years, and uh, it has amazing battery life. It probably has 
half or three quarters of the battery life of a Brio Beardscape and it actually trims closer to my skin and it's kind of quiet, kind of not, I don't know. But like I said, it's got a ton of battery life. This is at 45 minutes here. But what I do with this guy is, is I trim my beard with it. So I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm a little sketched out to do this on camera like this. Uh, here we go, so you just kind of edge it like this and take off some, some hairs that are a little long, like these ones here. I'm completely missing. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, anyways, it just does a really, really good job because the blade is really tight, and so it just kind of trims like a like a hedge trimmer. I'm gonna make a video on how to trim your beard in the near future, but but honestly, I'll link this down below too because I think this is awesome. So um, I'll link a Brio and I'll link this one. This one is cheaper, so if you're like into cheaper stuff, this this really does get the job done. It's not as flashy, not as cool, but. It works. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wrap up the video, but I do get a lot of comments. Hey Josh, you know, what What did you use in beard the day you made this video? Your beard looked good, it looked like trash, and I don't wanna use that, whatever it was. I get a lot of questions. So today guys, I only used beard oil. Um, I use Hanyaker's beard oil. This is their new um, fall scent called Witch's Breath. It smells like a whiskey cranberry pumpkin oud. That's what I'm gonna say. It's got a woodsy vibe to it. Um, it's got a pumpkin ish vibe to it but that kind of tailors off pretty quickly for me so mostly this is like a cranberry woody whiskey scent and it's freaking awesome so i haven't done a review on this company yet but i do highly recommend them and i have a discount code if you want to snag the beard oil from them the discount code on the website is bpr15 you'll save 15 percent. so if you want to try hanyaker's beard oil i definitely definitely highly suggest it so go check them out i'll link uh that company's uh, link below and then I'll put my discount code there as a reminder. Uh, this was a really fun video for me to make because I really truly think that all of these tools would help you or help anyone who's starting to grow a beard. Uh, they're kind of essentials and so don't waste your time. Get some of the best stuff, at least in my opinion. And with that being said, embrace your beard and embrace the beard life. See you guys.